What's up, Fox Trotters, and welcome back to the channel. This is KB with the Foxhole. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, hello. It's so nice to see you all again. So today, I figured we should do, <laughs> surprise, it's an r slash anti-MLM video, but it's also going to include posts from the subreddit r slash anti, or r slash MLM recovery, which I think is really good. If you have not checked out r slash MLM recovery, I would definitely check that one out. A lot of good stories, a lot of people looking for advice. If you have been through an MLM, or have some advice for someone that's a good place to check out because you could probably legitimately help some people out so definitely check that one out anyway we have crossed over the 150 subscriber mark and whoa I'm so excited and grateful thank you all so much for the interest and thank you so much for all of the constructive feedback it's really helping me a ton I appreciate it appreciate it all keep it coming and if you're interested in looking at some good MLM garbage today then please stay tuned for the video so the very first thing I wanted to cover today was something that I saw when I went to the r slash MLM recovery subreddit. And this has actually been up here for 29 days, which made me feel kind of silly that I didn't notice it last time I was on here. So my bad, everyone. But anyway, this looks pretty interesting. Let's give it a little read. Trying to make a booklet to warn people about MLMs. Hi everyone, hope you are well. I'm a magician and I do a lot of work at family fun days and events and stall holders. I have become really concerned at the huge number of stall holders promoting MLMs. After talking to them, I feel they are genuine in their belief that they will make money and they also believe the people they introduce will also make money. I've gotten into a number of difficult conversations where I have tried to explain the issues with MLMs to stop these people spending more of their money on the schemes. Ultimately, I produced a short booklet that I want to distribute for free. I put it on Amazon Kindle Unlimited for free and use the paperback service to print them at the lowest price they do. It's $2.99 in the UK, which earns me 9p on every cold copy sold. The printing cost won't let me go any lower. I'm also printing copies at a local printer, which I will hand out to people at my family fun days. These will only cost me 20p each, so I can swallow the cost by reminding myself I'm trying to help people. You guys are experienced in the MLM world and surely have advice. Firstly, if you were considering an MLM and you were given a copy of this booklet, would it persuade you not to do it? Second, is there anything you'd add or remove to make this more convincing? My aim is that I want the book to be short enough to not be off-putting, easy to read quickly in one sitting, and be free of charge and easy to pass on to the others to spread the word. I'd love your feedback. And then he lists below, he's got the UK Kindle, free and unlimited, the UK paper copy, USA Kindle link, and the USA paperback copy. And he also says, uh, send him a private message and he can email you the PDF. I did leave his name uh, on top of the post. I didn't uh, block it out this time, so you could definitely see him and see who he is Stevie Piers or something like that what is that yeah Stevie Piers anyway so I did a little research and I clicked on the links just to make sure that they were legit you know like here in the USA the Amazon one it does it links you right to the book it's a little it's just a little teeny book and it's and it's really cheap and interesting you could read like the first page or two and it sounds good as far as you know kind of what we talk about over here on the in the r and slash anti mlm world i mean it's it's very informative it's very useful and i really think that this guy has a good plan i wish him the best and um i mean one person can affect a lot of change and and if we all help and if we all pitch in and kind of spread the word then you know stuff like this can have some effect it might not help everyone but it might help someone and frankly that really is what counts in the end so definitely check this guy out check the links um, get, get the if you have Kindle get the book for free you don't even have to pay for it he does not care he's not looking for profit this is definitely just an informative thing he's trying to do it's just an information bomb you know what I mean Next up, I have another one from r slash MLM recovery. And I, again, um, I would really recommend that everyone go check out this subreddit specifically if you have any advice to give or you want to see what other people have said because the comments are really where the gold is in this particular subreddit because it's about dialogue. It's people looking for advice. People are wanting feedback about stuff. So if you're, if you're into that and you want to see some actual kind of dialogues about this whole thing, then, then definitely check it out. So here's one. My stepmom is so sweet, but she always gets sucked into MLMs, and she always tries to get me on board. How can I tell her nicely? I don't buy into this stuff. She really means well, but she is gullible. I've tried for years to keep her away from this stuff with no success. Oh my goodness, sweetie. I am so... I'm not going to read the auntie in the Hunbot voice because I feel like we like auntie, so auntie's not going to be disrespected like that. <laughs> 
Oh my goodness, sweetie, I am so sorry you were all so sick. You need to put oregano oil on the bottom of everybody's feet. Seriously, I got really run down with an ear infection, even under the skin. Inside and outside, it was horrible. So since oregano is a powerful natural antibiotic, it cleared everything up within two days. I think the peppermint oil works the best for me as far as headaches and nausea and breathing goes. You should to drop and mix it with the carrier oil to put it on the girls. Thieves oil is the best to use in our opinion to keep infections out. Daddy says he loves you all and to feel better. Coconut oil or olive oil works great as a carrier oil, but even vegetable oil will work. It is good you're able to get there, but eh, and blanking. I'm sorry you ended up sick too. Please try the oregano oil. It will help. I will text you tomorrow to check on you all. I haven't been home long and heading to bed. We will pray you will all get better quick. We love you all very much, sweetie. Oh, she really does sound like a nice lady, right? She really sounds like she really cares in that little bit in the middle. Daddy says he loves you. Like, it just brings it back home. Like, these are all real people. These are all real people. I mean, I can talk crap about Hanbots all day long, but what it comes down to is that most of them are just real people that have been lied to and have been duped for one reason or another. Either they're gullible or... I don't know, they didn't read between the lines enough or they, they're, they're trusting, you know, like, I don't know. And I, and yes, a lot of the Hunbots are garbage and they know what they're doing and they're scamming people and they're trying to like, you know, go on depression support pages and try to promote their essential oils and that's trash. But a lot of them are just, you know, they're just your auntie who wants you to be healthy. <laughs> So at the very top of the r slash MLM recovery page is, of course, their little blurb about what the page is about and kind of their goal and everything. Um, I did join, by the way, because I think it's great. It's only got about 3.4 thousand members, which is a good number of people, but I think there, there should be more. This is definitely an under, underrated subreddit for sure. But I love the blurb at the top. This is why Reddit is great, because it gives people the opportunity to have unbiased, unfiltered information from a regular person. How to leave an MLM, an excerpt. Be kind to yourself. More than 99% of people will lose money in an MLM, no matter how hard you try. It is not your fault that you did not become a successful millionaire like you were promised. It is not you that is the failure. The MLM system is set up to be like that. For the few to be successful at the top, the vast majority of people need to fail. When you joined your company, you were slowly and subtly subjected to techniques that changed the way you think. It is possible you ended up doing some things you were not proud of. Some people feel ashamed of some of the things they did and said and how they treated people. Please do not feel that any of this makes you a bad person or that it is your fault it all went wrong. You would do well to think of yourself as a victim of a fraud. Take some time to examine your thoughts and feelings and try to be kind to yourself. You have been through a traumatic experience and should not be underestimated. If you are having trouble with your thoughts, you would do well to confide in friends and family or even seek counseling. And I really like that. I think that's really wonderful to kind of touch, kind of add on to the last sentence. If you're having trouble with your thoughts, you would do well to confide in friends and family. Um, I can understand that a lot of people involved in MLMs got in because of their friends and family. It was their friends and family that got them into the business in the first place or sold them on it or, you know, rubbed the oils on their neck or, you know, put that crappy eyeshadow on them. Um, yeah, so I would definitely say that in those cases maybe don't go to those people because obviously they're gonna react poorly so at that point it would maybe be really good to go ahead and just seek counseling or in general just someone who's not related to the situation someone who can give you an honest and unbiased well you know in quotations unbiased opinion who can really tell you what's really going on you know what I mean that type of thing would be really good. But if, you're, if your mom is the one who sold you into something, you know, or your boyfriend or, you know, those aren't the people you want to talk to because they're not going to be, we already know, they're not going to be thinking about you. They're going to be thinking about what it's going to mean to them because of, remember again, like this says, the, the weird uh, brainwashing thing they go through, the, the managing techniques. So, so yeah, maybe don't talk to those people. <laughs> Instead, maybe come here to Reddit, maybe come to the r slash MLM recovery to write something or maybe even the r slash anti MLM section to talk about stuff, you know, and if you ever need a laugh, just go look at r slash Lulano and you're going to feel a lot better about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and now for some good r slash anti MLM cringe moments. <laughs> High school crush messages me 10 years later. Hi, Jeff. I hope. Oh, I should definitely do this in the Hunbot voice. Hold on. <clears throat> Hi, 
Jeff. I hope you and your loved ones are doing well. I know it's been a long time and it's a little weird messaging you. <laughs> I wanted to reach out to you today to see if you or your girlfriend have heard or tried Monet. It's an amazing hair care company that is completely chemical free with outstanding financial benefits. I truly believe it can be life changing for us. It's weird how she said us, like us, like her and Jeff, like, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, that sounds nice, but I'm bald. <laughs> I started losing my hair in my mid-twenties. Poor Jen lost most of her hair after the third baby and her chemo treatments. You'd know that if you talked to me more than once every 10 years to sell me hair care products. Wow. <laughs> I hope his wife's okay, uh, Jen. Uh, hope you're doing good, wherever you are. Um, hope you're doing well. Congratulations on the third baby and for being a cancer survivor. Jeff, good for you. Congratulations for being smart and funny and Jen is lucky to have you and Hanbot shame on you at least do some research before maybe look back a couple years into like the timeline of the person you're about to stalk to see if like I don't know someone had a serious illness I maybe that's too I don't even know why I'm expecting them to do that how silly of me <laughs> Ooh, and we love any time an MLM gets destroyed. I mean, maybe not literally because they seem to have incredible legal power and financial backing. Uh, anyway, but any <laughs> this is funny regardless. Herbalife getting destroyed. Imagine being a liver or a set of kidneys and narrowly pulling a henny, hot fries, and ramen eaten ass girl all the way through the flaming nutritional dumpster fire of their 20s just for them to become an Instagram health guru and give all the detox credit to Herbalife and some berry no one can agree on the name of. <laughs> mm, they're going to be mad as F when they find out they don't actually have to do anything to detox, but drink some water and lay down and go to sleep. <laughs> be drinking gallons of detox tea girl it's just tea uh it isn't just tea it's tea that like makes you poop like oh i've never partaken but i have been around those who have and let me tell you that's all that happens <laughs> just an upset stomach and, a, and a, some time spent in the bathroom and then pretty much just waiting a couple days for it to get out of your system and to go back to normal and then we all sit around and laugh about how uh, that was a really dumb idea <laughs> yeah detoxing there's a huge uh wave of misinformation within the mlm community about detoxing in general you know, uh, the human body is designed to detox. That's what your entire, like your kidneys, your your liver, your guts, everything is essentially uh, to detox your system. That's what it, that's what it, drink some water. Just don't drink their weird powders and spend money on it. Drink water and try not to eat too much sodium. <laughs> and I'm gonna finish today's video off with some unique makeup artistry. <laughs> And I have her face in this. I have mixed feelings about exposing people completely on here, you know, when they seem like they don't really understand what's going on. It part of me part of me feels really guilty. But here's my thing. This lady looks really nice. If anyone knows her and she's still involved, do this nice lady a favor and tell her no. <laughs> you tell her no. <laughs> Bless her heart, but <laughs> Maybe she's trying to be funny with the eyelashes and a little Alex Clockwork Orange action right there. I'm not sure, but the bottom left one, it looked like she had a black eye. So I, I zoomed in on that and it didn't help much, but it looks like I'm still not 100% sure what's going on. It looks like she's holding a stick, a stick foundation in her hand, maybe. I don't know unique products enough to know what that bottle is. If you know what that item is, <laughs> maybe let us know because it looks like she's covering up a black eye and I don't want to believe that's what's happening. <laughs> um, but someone come get your auntie. She needs you. <laughs> And for the obligatory cute animal photo today, it is Tippy and River, two of my rescue critters who are enjoying a quick momentary snuggle on the floor uh, that is for some reason covered in all of my socks. And apparently I forgot to crop out my own feet as well. So there you go, you're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> And I'd recommend to anyone who's looking to get a new family member, a new love of their life, to please adopt, don't shop, check out your local shelters, humane societies, donate if you can, volunteer if you can, and as always, don't forget to spay and neuter your pets. 
All right, Fox Trotters, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like that video, please hit that like button down below. If you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any good ideas or any good constructive feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below as well. I will definitely see it and take note. Thank you so much for all of the interest, all of the attention. I love you guys very much. This has been really fun so far, and I definitely look forward to putting out lots of good uh, MLM content to come, some more investigative style stories as well, and as always, trying to remain on trend with whatever the latest MLM hot dumpster fire is. Thank you folks so much, and as always, until the next video, take care.